After the asphalt was washed and dried, it became very obvious the amount of power the M.O.T. was able to deliver, even though the primary current was only about 15 amps here. Even underwater with current limited, the M.O.T. can still produce enough heat to cause considerable carnage, as you can see by these burn spots on the asphalt. Here is a prototype for a saltwater resistor. This will go in series with whatever I'm trying to cook with the MOT, limiting the secondary current and by extension limiting the primary current. Because with a 15 amp circuit breaker I could maybe pull 20 amps from that for a couple minutes, 30 amps for maybe a few tens of seconds, and unballasted 45 amps blows it after just a handful of seconds. So. I'll get some salt water mixed up and start playing around with this to see what output I get. Here we are. Sorry for some wind noise. Meter is on 100 amp scale. Just enough salt water in the resistor jar to cover the bottom tips of the electrodes going to power up and see what happens. Power is on. No discernible change. Need weaker salt water. Shutting down. Has plain tap water. No added salt. Power on. That is much better. That's only around 20 or 30 amps. Let's reduce the scale, see if we can get some better resolution. Meter now on 40 amp scale. Again, resistor has plain tap water. Contact. About 30 amps short circuit, arcing is around 25 amps. Well, this is still more than the breaker will allow normally. It's a lot better than 45 amps, and as you can see, I get smaller arcs, but still arcs. Let's see how long the breaker lasts and or how long it takes to boil the water in the resistor jar. In the previous run, the plates of the resistor had worked their way closer together and allowed more current to pass, so the breaker tripped a bit early. I'm going to try it again with the plates properly spaced this time. There we go. Now it was creeping up towards 40 amps the last time. Now it stays around 30 like it should. That lasted quite a long time. And that was only limited to 30 or 35 amps, somewhere between there. Compared with unballasted 45 amps, and it only lasts for a handful of those arcs before it pops out. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm.